Hello, and welcome to this Quick Take video. These videos highlight different aspects of the Xilinx Software Development Kit, such as bare metal application development, Linux application development, debugging with the system debugger, or running the SDK from the command line. As we'll show in this short video, creating, compiling, running, and debugging bare metal applications targeting Zinc 7000 all programmable SOC devices can be accomplished in minutes using the Xilinx SDK. The Xilinx SDK is a complete set of tools and runtime software for developing bare metal applications on the Zinc 7000 family of all programmable SOC devices. From board bring up through firmware and application development, optimization, and deploying your system, quite simply, the Xilinx SDK provides you with all the tools you need. In this video, we will show you just how quickly you can create a bare metal application using the Xilinx SDK. Whether you're bringing up your board for the first time, writing drivers, or creating bare metal or Linux applications, the Xilinx SDK provides you with everything you need to get started in the edit, compile, debug cycle. Because it is sometimes difficult to start a new bare metal project on an unfamiliar device, we have streamlined the process through generating custom BSPs and providing source code templates that you can compile into working applications in minutes. But rather than talking about it, let's create an application using the SDK. To run the SDK, from the Start menu, choose All Programs, then Xilinx Design Tools, the version of the tools, and then the Xilinx SDK. The Xilinx SDK is built on top of the Eclipse IDE. The first thing it asks you to do is create a workspace. We'll now choose Create a New Application Project, and the New Project Wizard will come up. The first thing that you need to enter is the project name. We've chosen the hardware platform for the ZC702 development board, and we're going to let the wizard create the BSP for a standalone application for us. When we click Next, we'll get a list of the software templates that are available. There are many application templates, including peripheral tests, memory tests, benchmarking tests, and many others. Today, we'll choose the simple Hello World application. Right now, the SDK is creating the pieces of the Hello World application project. In the Project Explorer view, you can see what it creates. The ZC702 board platform contains information about the peripheral set that is used and the memory map of these peripherals. It also creates the bare metal BSP for you based on the settings of the hardware platform. You don't need to do anything. The SDK will create the custom bare metal BSP for you. Additionally, you get all the source code for the drivers in the libsource directory and documentation and source code examples for many of the drivers in the BSP. Finally, it creates the Hello World example project and then compiles and links it into an ELF file. That's it. Now we're ready to download and run our program. I'll quickly set up the terminal so I can see the output over the JTAG connection. Now, to run the program, right-click on the Hello Zinc project directory and choose Run As, and then Launch on Hardware. It takes a few seconds for the SDK to communicate with the board and set up the processor before it downloads the ELF file and runs it. There you go, your first working Zinc program running in less than five minutes. Now that we've seen our first program working, let's go a little further and do a simple debug session. First. We'll add a loop to our Hello World program so we can step through the code and watch things change in the debugger. To do this, we open our Hello World.c file by selecting it from the source directory, and we add the loop. We should be ready now to debug. To begin a debug session, right-click on the Hello Zinc project and choose Debug As, and then Launch on Hardware System Debugger. There are other options here, but for bare metal debugging, we recommend using Xilinx's System Debugger. A dialog box will come up asking if you want to switch to the debug perspective. Choose yes. Now that you are in the debug perspective, you can set a breakpoint on the loop you just created. You do this by right-clicking on the blue column to the left of the code line at which you want to break. You can press the resume button to start the program again. You'll notice that our message was printed to the terminal and the program execution stopped at the breakpoint you just added. Now you can start stepping through your code. Each time you press the step over function, you either print the value of the counter variable i to the terminal or increment its value. From the variable tab, you can see the value of i updating as you step through the code. 
You can also see the value of i at its location in memory by right-clicking on the variable and choosing View Memory. Here, you can see the value updating in the Memory Monitor view as you step through the code. There are many more things you can do with the Xilinx system debugger. This little excursion was simply to show you how rapidly you can take your compiled program and begin debugging using the XSDB. In this short video, we've shown how quickly you can create your first Zinc 7000 bare metal application using the Xilinx SDK. With automatically generated BSPs and bare metal application templates, getting a working project running on your board is a snap. As we'll show in other videos, creating Linux applications, debugging a complex multiprocessor system, or doing performance analysis is also easy using the Xilinx SDK. Now you should be able to create your own software project using the Zinc 7000 All Programmable SoC and the Xilinx SDK. Download the SDK and try it today.